What about you? So for me, when I, like, first of all, like me finally meeting her family was pretty intimidating. You know, it's, it's kind of like the godfather, you know, you walk in, <laughs> guy sitting down. So you want to marry my daughter? How do we look? Oh my God, we're both wearing black. I should, I should probably change my shirt. No. Oh, okay. It's much better. Yo, 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 guys. What is up? Welcome back to another video. Go subscribe. That's it? Just like that? Go subscribe. And also follow us on social media. If you guys haven't done so already, And TikTok. the TikTok, because you know, popping over at TikTok. <laughs> we just hit a thousand <laughs> followers on TikTok. Yeah. Like, that, it was really fast. So if you guys haven't seen us there. And just to think, because of one dumb idea Caesar had, and I was like, Psh, that's dumb. Hey Maze, why don't you teach me something in Arabic? Intahmar. What does that mean? You're handsome. I like that. <laughs> Freaking took off like 120,000 some whatever video views. But anyways guys, so in this video, we are going to be answering one of the top questions we get asked constantly. Wait, you got like something on your lip. Ew. Is it gone? Ew. You, it you don't even know what that was. It tastes like food. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna talk about our first interactions with each other's families. And yeah, it's one of the top questions we get asked all the time. Yep. Because they look at us and I'm like, I'm Hispanic, she's Arabian, everybody's like, oh my God, I want the juice, I want the tea. What happened? They want the shit. <laughs> well, we're not gonna spill that much tea. No. But anyway, it's just warm tea. It's not sizzling hot. There's a lot of hot <laughs> tea to go around. But anyways, May, so what was your first reaction with my family? How was it? Um, I got stared at a lot. I think I think correct me if I'm wrong, people were shocked that you have like an Arabian chick. Yeah. They're like, "How you do that though?" <laughs> that's that's a comment we always get like hey how do i get an arab girl you can't <laughs> <laughs> i mean but i'm gonna be completely honest here like growing up when i was a little kid my idea of marriage for one was disgusting but aside from that i always thought that i would end up with like a catholic hispanic girl but then i went to high school and saw a lot of different girls that weren't Mexican, that weren't, you know, I just saw a lot of different people. It wasn't like just one type of people. Period, point blank, when I met her, I didn't think this was gonna happen. Like, I guess that's just life and I guess that's just love, right? When you fall in love with somebody, like you don't have control over that. You don't, love doesn't have a nationality, I don't think. So when I met her and we clicked, it was over with, but till this day, I don't really look at her like, oh, she's Arabian. Like, I don't wake up and be like, ah, you're Arabian. Like, yeah, it does. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I, I don't really do that. But I mean, like, you never really think about it that way. So I been... think that's one of the reasons why they're shocked because there's this expectation or assumption that you're gonna end up with your own race and right that's yeah that's not always the case but i mean i think i ended up with him because i've been told i've been dropped on my head as a kid <laughs> just kidding in case some of y'all who've been here haven't caught on well, I have well a, maybe i'm really sarcastic so <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't caught on by the videos that you've watched yeah. but maybe they said that with not the best intent <laughs> But maybe it was a little bit more aggressive. I but think there's a little truth to it. <laughs> right. Just, just, just a little just bit. Just kidding. But anyway, so yeah, you got stared at pretty much like. Yeah, like it was probably more of this movie. Yeah. yeah, like where did you get her from? Like why is she here? Why is she eating so many tacos? Like, and, and then everybody's <laughs> like, where did you meet her? I'm like, I met her at school, it's like school. in high school. Like, the school. Where meet. else was I going to meet her? Like somewhere. I don't know, like 
where I met Sahara her. Sahara Desert. <laughs> I know, like I went all the way to Palestine just to, That's hey, what's up? Where the Sahara Desert is, but okay. Well, no, I, I don't mean the Sahara Desert, but like, you know, you're yeah. Arabian, I didn't go. You wouldn't have plucked me out of Palestine. Yeah, I, which. That's what people the, make it seem like. Yeah, like, no, we went to the same school, you know, it was pretty diverse, then I met her, mm -hmm. we clicked, and it was over. But yeah, everybody was pretty nice for the most part. I mean, like I said, I got stared a lot and it was a little awkward at times. And, and then they and like they... ask you like, oh, say this or say that or... Yeah, you know. that was the first thing. Like, like oh, I'm tell us like... something in Arabic. And then... And I was like, intahmar. No. What does that mean? You're handsome. I like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my God, don't even break that up. <laughs> That's how we became TikTok famous. Yeah. But... <laughs> that's my favorite word, by the way. Like, if I'm gonna insult you, that's how I'm gonna insult yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> just call him a donkey face, okay? <laughs> and by the way, I do know what Ahmad Yahmad means. Honestly, guys. Yeah. So many guys are here from TikTok, and they're like, oh my god, like, the Middle Eastern people will be like, oh, she's so mean. And the Hispanic people, because he's like, he calls me a Buddha, they're like, oh man, that's so wrong. And yeah. it's like, you guys. We, we know what. We really can understand each other's languages pretty well at this point. Yeah. Me more so than him. But yeah, yeah, I think people were just shocked and maybe asking, you know, it was just something new. So mm -hmm. they wanted to know how your language sounds and stuff yeah. like that. But other than that, it was pretty normal. I think it was just a staring and then like, say this, say that, or, you know, like, how is it over there or whatever. Yeah, stuff like, like 101 that. questions about like Palestine. Yeah. Like, oh my God, how is it over there? Yeah. And they're, they're very outgoing. Like, yeah. I wasn't used to that. I was used to like, you know. Everybody's just like chill, sipping on their Turkish coffee with like the cigarette in their hand, you know, most family gatherings, yeah. whatever. And you go over there and everybody's like, da -da 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 -da, like. <laughs> yeah. Playing the music because Latinos love to dance. I'll tell yeah. you that, man. What about you? So for me, when I, like, first of all, like me finally meeting her family was pretty intimidating. You know, it's, it's kind of like the godfather, you know, you walk in, <laughs> guy sitting down. So you want to marry my daughter, you know, like, like with the cigarette and everything. And it's like, oh my God, it was just so intimidating. But once you like uh, broke the ice and, you know, finally we're like, yeah, you know, I want to marry your daughter and all of that type of thing. I think it became less intimidating, but I do remember and I'll never forget it. And Mason knows the first time that I met their parents or her parents, like, they sat me down for, you know, we ate dinner, I think it was. It was dinner. And then I was nervous because I was like, man, I'm, I'm asking for her hand in marriage. And I, it's like just very intimidating. Here's this Hispanic guy. I'm thinking that they don't believe that I'm Muslim. So I'm like, uh, man, maybe they're going to try to test me and stuff like that. But then I'm like, whatever. But then I was just so nervous. And I was like, man. So we were eating McLube. And then <laughs> that was the first time I tasted McLube and then they're serving it and then I'm like nah nah you know what I'm good I'll just uh, just just a little bit but what you're not hungry literally like, my, oh my big fat Greek wedding they're like he's like no 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 I don't want any no, so they grab the good. big ass plate a big plate <laughs> filled it up to <laughs> the top it, and they're like okay I make you a plate and they I'm fill like, it to the rim <laughs> and then at that time I kept remembering I was like oh well if they offer you something it's rude to not accept it but then I was like I'm kind of like really nervous right now, but yeah, they gave me this big plate of food. I didn't really you finish guys, it. I have never <laughs> been, I mean, I used to be skinny mini. I mean, most of us, a lot of people were in high school and you're younger, it's easier to keep your physique. I was never intimidated to grab my own food, y'all. <laughs> but I was like... I was like, tacos, don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess for me, it was just like nerve wracking. Um, so me meeting her family for the first time because you don't know what to say like Latinos We're outgoing people, but we don't know if we're stretching it too much, you know I think that's how I was thinking. stretches it too much. It's me not you. Yeah, I know Caesar sometimes is like please stop <laughs> Like I'm just trying to be cool calm cool. You're collected. still like that. We're still like complete I, opposites like that I am but then you know my first interaction with them, you know, it was it was bitter and sweet at the same time because I didn't know what to think, what to expect. But you know what? It, you know, it went well. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, the first time I heard him talking to my dad, I was eavesdropping behind the door. I was afraid, like, it was going to go bad. bad. <laughs> and like, I heard them laughing, and I literally I'm was like, like, 
Are they laughing while they murder him right now? Like, I'm so confused. <laughs> You're like he's he he he's on a meat hook right now. <laughs> They're skinning him. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, we just sat, and when I first met them, her her uncle and her dad, we were sitting down in a garage. Everybody was smoking, and we I was probably inside smoking. I'm just yeah. kidding. I'm kidding. And we were just there talking for like hours, like six hours straight, like. It was like a non-stop sit down Yeah, we talk. just got out of the garage right now. I kind of feel like we talked about everything and everything. <laughs> For about I might have I might have given them my social security number. I, I'm not sure <laughs> if I did or not, but I probably gave did. Them a blood sample. That was our first interaction. Yeah. So it wasn't horrible. I think mine was a little easier, obviously weird. Well, cuz like was more outgoing. Yeah, as a culture, I mean, people might get offended at this, but we're a more intimidating culture. Yeah. So, I mean, it was easier for me, I'll, I'll give him that, than it was for him. But uh, we're here, right? We're so. here. It, it, it worked out. We're here. 13 years later? 14. This year. 14. Okay. He's no. 13 and a half. Okay, well, we're in between, you know? That's the video, guys. I mean, yeah. a lot of people ask this question, we figure we answer it, and there's the answer so if you guys got any other type of video ideas like more questions or something like that you guys want us to go through let us know in the comments and subscribe that being said <laughs> catch you guys on the next one bye